Welcome back to Coconuts. In this little video, I am gonna show you how to fix a dropped stitch in pattern stitch, either garter stitch or seed stitch. This is garter stitch, rows of pearls, rows of knits, and this looks like a hot mess, but it's okay, it's fixable. Um, this is where it's really handy to have a hook that has um, hooks on both ends. This is the coconut stitch fixer. Um, because you're going to be able to pull up as knits and as pearls without having to take your stitches off um, and use a different hook or take the hook out. Um, so this is how you're going to work this. You want to, just like any other drop stitch, go down and find the last little loop that you can and pick that up. And again, from the front toward the back, right? So now I've got it secured, it's safe. And the next thing we need to do is figure out whether we need to pick it up as a knit or a purl. And as in all picking up stitches, you wanna go along one edge and make sure that you're picking up one of these bars every row and you wanna make sure that they are in order. And in something like either seed stitch or garter stitch, it gets a little tricky because some of them pop to the front and some of them pop behind. So you gotta really pay attention and make sure that you're picking up every single one and that you're picking them up in order. So um, we gotta figure out whether this is a knit or a purl and how we're gonna pick up this, this first stitch. Just as if this were on your needle and you were about to knit it or purl it, you can look at that and see that it is a purl stitch. The bump is right underneath the needle, in this case, our hook. Because the bump is right underneath there, that means that the stitch that's up on top of this needs to be a knit stitch. So just like um, with the other tutorial for picking up knit stitches, it's the exact same thing. The other hint you have is, when these bars seem to be sort of tucked in behind, that means they are they need to be a knit. These ones that pop out toward the front of your work, those are pearls. So we have two things that are telling us that this needs to be picked up as a knit. The other thing you wanna be sure of is that you're not twisting this stitch. You wanna make sure that it's open and that's how you're gonna pull the stitch through. You don't wanna accidentally twist it either one way or the other, you want to pull it right through this dropped stitch. So there is my first bar. Again, because it's a knit, I'm gonna go behind it and I'm gonna pull it through the loop from the back toward the front. And now this next stitch up here is gonna be pulled through as a purl. And we know that because if we were knitting along and looking at this, that definitely was just knitted. Therefore, the next stitch up needs to be a purl. And your second clue is that the yarn that's coming in front was, it's or the next one bar you're gonna pick up is toward the front. So that means it needs to be a purl. So to pull this up as a purl, what you do is you take your little hook, you tuck it behind that bar all the way this again is why it's good to have a hook on the other side. You wanna put the whole thing in front of that bar. So now that bar is underneath and running in front of your stitch. And then you are going to um, pull that bar up through this stitch. You're going from front to back, but you are pulling up through it. Okay, I'll keep doing this so you can see it again. This one's running behind. That means it's gonna be a knit, which makes sense, we just purled. So now with this one, we're gonna go with our hook up at the top, we're gonna to go behind it and pull it from the back toward the front through that stitch. Next one is a purl, so we need to put the whole thing to the back and, and situate it so that that bar is running underneath and it's in front of our stitch. And you're gonna pull the stitch up through your loop. Okay, again, this one's from the back. 
right, as a knit. Again, this one that wants to run toward the front, it's going to be put the whole thing to the back and pull it up. Again, this one is a knit, so you're all set. Go right behind it and pull it up. And this last one, again, we're going to go put your needle up all the way up, and then you're going to come from underneath and pull it up through the loop, okay? And then again, as with the other pickup, when you transfer this on, just put your left needle through the front of that loop to transfer it on, and you're all fixed. See, that wasn't so bad. And the difference is in, um, and that's where my yarn, oh wait, we had one more to do. Either that or I dropped the stitch next to it. I think I may have dropped the stitch next to it. All right, so this one you can see, look at our stitch. We can see it looks like a knit. So again, I'm gonna go down here. It's behind, or my stitch is behind it, and I'm gonna pull it up. Oops. Little impromptu extra drop stitch. Twist it on to my needle. Now I'm all good and I can carry on. And it would be the same thing in seed stitch. It's just that every other stitch is knitted and purled. Um, so you just have to look at your stitch and figure out whether it needs to be a knit or a purl and then that's how you pull them up. Hopefully that helps.